Hi, good day everyone. This video is about angles formed by secants and tangents. So this is part 2 of our discussion. So I have here our second theorem, the tangent point secant theorem. So according to this theorem, the measure of an angle formed by a tangent and a secant drawn at the point of contact is one half the measure of its intercepted arc, right? So for example, let's say we have this given um, figure or circle. Let's say we have this um, angle form. So for example, you are asked to solve for the value of angle ABC, okay? So again, the value of angle ABC is simply half the measure of its intercepted arc. So the intercepted arc of angle ABC is, is at point A, Right, so that is at point A up to point B. Therefore, the value of ABC is one half of arc AB. Alright, so that is our second theorem. So let's try to solve some problems that involves this given theorem. So for example, let's say we have this given figure. Okay, so let's say we're asked to solve for this given angle. Let's say, let's name this one as angle X. Okay, or simply the value of angle ABC. So if the value of angle ABC is unknown and the value of arc AB is 270 degrees, again, we will use the same formula. So that is angle ABC, right? So this angle is equal to the half of its intercepted arc. So the arc is arc AB. And that's our formula. So let's try to substitute the values again. ABC or the value of X is equal to the half of arc AB. So AB, according to our figure, that is equals to 270 degrees. So just solve for the value of X. Let's divide this value, half of 270. Therefore, X is equals to 135 degrees. And that is our final answer for this given problem. Okay, so just divide or half of 270 is equals to 135 degrees. Okay, next, how about this one? For example, we have this um, angle. Let's say we are asked to solve for angle TAN. So let's name this one as X again, right? And the value of this arc TA or AT is 100 degrees. So again, we will use the same formula. So angle TAN is equal to the half of its given intercepted arc. So the intercepted arc is at arc AT, right? So just do the same thing. So therefore, the AN is equals to half of um, intercepted arc AT. So AT is equals to 100 degrees. Therefore, this is one half of 100 degrees, right? So the value of X or TAN is simply equals to 50 degrees. So that is our final answer for this one. Okay, next, how about this one? Right, so for our last example, let's say um, we are asked to solve for the value of angle ABC. So this is let's mark this one as X, right? And then the value or the given value according to our figure is this one, right? So we have this given arc, and according to our figure, that is equal to 100 degrees. Okay, so according to our theorem, the value of angle ABC is equal to the half of its intercepted arc. The problem is its intercepted arc is this part. Okay? Now, we will use the concept of circle to answer this one. Okay? Since this part, this blue one, is 100 degrees, therefore, this green part, okay, since the value of the entire circle is 360 degrees, therefore, this is 360 minus 100 so that is equal to 260 degrees, right? So we will use this given value to our formula to solve for the value of angle X, okay? Therefore, ABC is equal to one half of arc AB. So the value of arc AB or its intercepted arc is 260 degrees. So we have one half of 260 degrees. Therefore, the value of X or ABC is equal to 130 degrees. Right, so that is our final answer. Okay, so thank you so much and God bless.